Sud Girls. Welcome to our Science Camp iMovie Project. Hi, today I'm going to tell you about the plant cycle, invertebrates, and reptiles. By the way, I'm Chameleon. The plant cycle is a process used by plants and other organisms to convert light energy, normally from the sun, and the chemical energy that can be layered at least to fuel the plant's activities. Now we are going to talk about invertebrates. Invertebrates are mainly insects that possess no backbone and never grow one. Familiar examples of invertebrates include insects, crabs, lobsters, snails, and clams. Reptiles are a very, very cool group of creatures, including today's turtles, crocodiles, snakes, and lizards. Um, thanks for sharing, Chameleon. Now it's my turn. So, hi, Chitty here. Let's take a look at what I'm doing, shall we? So, first up is animal adaptations. Animal adaptations are skills that animals adapt to in the wild to survive. Without it, they would not be able to survive. Adaptations are important in our world because without these skills, we would all surely perish. Next, I'm going to talk about another member of the FBI, bacteria. Normally, quite a few bacteria have a number of shapes, ranging from spears to rods and even spirals. Some even have cute little tails. Finally, I'm going to talk about birds. Birds are feathered, winged, two-legged, warm-blooded, egg-laying vertebrates. Their beak crushes things that are hard, like beetle shells. Birds can also fly using their strong wings for support. Hi, my name is Firefly, and I'll be talking about ecosystem, fungus, and insects. Next, I'll talk about ecosystems. They come in all sizes. They work like an interconnected system. An ecosystem is a community of living organisms like plants and animals in conjunction with non-living components of their environment, things like air, water, and mineral soil. Now I'll talk about fungus. It is a group of organisms or living things that include mold and mushrooms. Like our bodies, fungus produce powerful chemicals that break down food. They are called enzymes. They release enzymes to dissolve organic matter around them. Lastly, I'll talk about insects. Insects are invertebrates within arthropod that has a chitinous exoskeleton and a three-part body, three pairs of jointed legs, compound eyes, and one pair of antenna. Bye! Bye. Thanks, Thanks for, for listening, listening to the Banana Slug Girls Science Camp iMovie Project. We hope, hope you enjoyed it. it.